guys, it's Cash Takes here in Three Persons video. Today, I have a pretty cool unboxing, I guess an unboxing, but new pickup that I want to show you guys. Uh, I should have a couple new pickups, but I want to kind of split it up into different videos. And I want to post more, I'm sorry, but I've had tons of schoolwork. I want to apologize, really want to apologize. I haven't posted in a long time, but I've had a lot of schoolwork and just not a lot of time. And, you know, when I do have time, I'm not wanting to, like, make videos about shoes. I want to, like, spend time with my family or whatever. Sorry, I've been really inconsistent with my posting. But just know that once summer hits, it's gonna be a video every day, if not two. So like, I'm gonna throw out like some crazy videos too, like fire videos. Uh, maybe a sneaker collection video, maybe a clothing collection video, cause my rack is starting to fill up. Like I might get a new one soon, cause it's starting to fill up. So uh, yeah, crazy videos coming. Uh, just wait a couple like more months, like one more month-ish kinda. So, uh, yeah, please just know I'm trying to get back on that YouTube grind. It's just school's been crazy because we've had end of your test and just tons of homework and work and stuff. So I want to apologize, but let's get into the video. Okay, so if you know, a couple things released on this past Saturday and uh, I was able to get a couple of them and this is just one of them. So as you probably tell by the box, I got the Yeezy 500 um, blush. I actually got three pairs, but only one of them came in today because I got the pre-order. So basically during All-Star Weekend, there was a pre-order for the Yeezy 500 blush and I actually was able to get a pair off the pre-order. It ended in about 17 minutes and so I got pretty lucky that I was on and able to get it before it closed. So uh, yeah, this is actually a pre-order pair. This didn't come out this Saturday, but I got two other pairs that are coming in that I did get this Saturday. So I got three pairs in total, but uh, yeah, one pre-order pair and one pair from the actual like release. So uh, yeah, let's open it up and uh, see how they look in person. Now you guys have probably seen these before, but maybe not in person and maybe not like super close up or anything. But I, uh, I know you guys probably seen like Drake wear these or like a lot of other YouTubers got these or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna give you my full honest opinions and let's get in the video. So basically right here we have the Yeezy 500 blush and it's very, very uh, good quality. That's like the one thing I will say. It's very, very good quality. So they have this long hair, like rough suede right there, as you can tell. Uh, it's very, very nice, very good quality. It's not like super like buttery, like it doesn't move back and forth when you go like that but it is super soft and feels a lot like the Just Dawn 2s I have right there, the Arctic Orange colorway right there, and it feels very similar to the suede on that, but just a little more like, I don't know, I don't know, but it's really nice quality, very, very nice suede. And then it's got like leather just kind of hinted around there, kind of up there, kind of on the tongue, and just kind of leather around the shoe uh, down there by like the inside. It's a really nice quality shoe, and then it's got a lot of rubber, a little rubber place right there, and then obviously the entire sole is rubber. There's no boost in the shoe. And actually, I think this is the only Adidas Yeezy besides the Calabasas, which I have down there, uh, that doesn't have boost. So I haven't tried it on. I'm gonna sell all three pairs because I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan. Like they're nice for sure. Like don't get me wrong. If I got a pair for free, I'd be thrilled and I would keep it and it'd be really nice. But I don't know if it's worth $220 because it, it was $200 with $20 shipping. I'm just not sure if it's worth it or if I should actually like keep them for that. I'd probably rather get something else, probably rather get like a Supreme hoodie or something. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice shoe. Like it's a good quality shoe. And it's got all this mesh right here, which is very, very soft and very, very like plush and squishy. Like this would be a very comfortable shoe. Like these would be insanely comfortable. Um, I've heard they're kind of heavy, but I don't really think they're that heavy. Uh, like they're for sure heavier than like the, the V2s and the Calabasas, but like I've heard they're kind of heavy and I don't really get that. Uh, the 700s are pretty light, I will say. Like I've had the 700s at like a size five and I sold them, but maybe that was just because they were a size five. Maybe that's why they were light. But yeah, if these aren't light, but they're not heavy, uh, but for sure like not a running shoe by any means. This is obviously a shoe you just like casually wear. Um, I don't know how you'd wear it though, honestly. Like you need a particular outfit. Like it would go with a lot, but I don't know. You have to kind of, you have to have kind of a, certain style with your outfit that would go with the shoe and I'm not sure I do that. So, so yeah, this is gonna have to be a pass for me. I, I will be selling these on StockX most likely, but I'll also post them on Instagram probably for sale. I might start a like selling only Instagram page, which I think would be pretty good because I'm trying to really focus on reselling along with this YouTube channel, but I'm also trying to really focus on reselling because I've done it in the past and I've made like lots of money. Like, don't get me wrong, I've made lots of money but I'm trying to like bump it up to where I'm making tons. So uh, like, yeah, I'm really trying to bump up my reselling game. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to sell a lot and not keep as much stuff as I have in the past. Cause 
I've kept a lot of stuff that I probably could have made money off of, and I will keep the stuff I like, like I have those up there that might be a little sneak peek for the next video. But stuff like that that I genuinely really want, I will keep, but stuff like this where it's kind of like 50-50, I'm gonna sell, because I want that money, you know, so, so I can buy things that I really want like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna pass on these. Really nice shoe, like I said, if you like these, for sure buy them, especially right now as the prices are really low. Like I'm probably gonna hold on to my pair for a little bit just until the prices go up like 700, cause they are very low right now. Like I would only make like 25 bucks off each pair. And I have a size seven coming and I wouldn't even make any money off of that. I would break even and make zero dollars. Like I wouldn't lose any money, but I wouldn't make any money on the size seven pair. So I'm just gonna kinda hold on to all of them and hopefully just wait till the prices go up. I really think the prices will go up, but it'll just take like a couple weeks. So I'm just gonna wait a couple weeks and get a little more money. But yeah, comment down below your opinions because I know there's been mixed reviews. I know people have loved them in hand. People have loved them on pictures, but not in hand. And I know it's just been kind of a controversial shoe. So comment down below your opinions. Uh, but yeah, me personally, I like them, but not enough to keep them. It's a nice shoe, but like I said, not enough to keep them. A lot of celebrities have been spotted wearing these, like Drake's been wearing these, Kanye's been wearing these, and if you know, Drake is most likely going to Adidas because uh, he's been wearing a lot of Adidas shoes, such as these, Ultra Boost, NMDs. So he most likely will go to Adidas, and so I think the prices might go up just because he's been wearing these and Kanye's been wearing these a lot. And there's been some other pretty weird colorways of this model. Uh, there's like a, like a yellow pair, almost like the frozen yellows down there, but not quite as bright. And there's a purple pair. There's like some weird colors. And uh, I'm not sure if they'll look good in person, if they'll get better, I'm not sure. I can't judge until I have them in hand. Most of the time when I get a shoe in hand, I really like it. That's just kind of how I am. Like when I get a pair in hand, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to keep this. And it's kind of a problem, but it's okay. So I'll have to wait till I get those in hand until I can actually judge them for you guys. Uh, but yeah, as of this pair, it's just a little too like, I don't know, it's not enough. It's too high of a retail to keep. Like obviously if it was like a 120, like a Calabasas, like a 120 retail, I might keep it, but it's just kind of not worth the 200 bucks of like actually keeping it. So I'm probably gonna resell it, make a quick like 40 bucks off of it. And then yeah, just get done with it and spend that $40 or I guess like 120 cause I have three pairs on something else that I'll review for you guys. But yeah, you can expect a video tomorrow about the Shadow Ones. I got two pairs and a pretty crazy story time. It's gonna, it's pretty interesting and it gets pretty intense. So I'll tell you guys about that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, a review on feet, story time kind of thing. And how limited they were, at least where I was, and how hard they were to win. Like, I never take ups. Like, very, very rarely. I know that sounds kind of like cocky, I guess, but I don't really take L's ever on raffles. And I took a lot of L's on those. Uh, luckily I didn't buy like that many cause resell is low. So I'm glad I kind of didn't get that many like wins on the raffles or else I would have bought like 10 pairs and been stuck with them. But like on the bread toes, which were like more limited, more hype, actually maybe not more hype, but more limited. I got like six pairs, seven pairs on the Royals last year that were really hyped and had better resell. I got like, I think six pairs. Um, and yeah, just I got two pairs of those and I even got lucky that I got a second pair I'll tell you guys how I took L's how it all worked how limited they were how everything like that and give you an in-depth review and kind of just talk about them tomorrow. So you can expect that tomorrow. But yeah, I think that's right for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'm out.